Okay, we're almost ready to leave Nassau. Billy is uploading a video and I'm gonna go get some more vegetables before we leave. <laughs> Great to meet you. <laughs> Later. Okay, so we loaded up all the groceries. We just left Nassau. Thoughts on Solomon's Fresh Market. It's really clean. Really impressed with how everything is organic and all natural and how they have a big variety, but it is very expensive. That is the one downfall of that grocery store. What would have cost $75 at home at Publix just costs like $188. So all that food you just guys just saw cost $188, but we should be good to make it all the way home with all that stuff. We just left the dock in Nassau Harbor. We Angie left yesterday. We're gonna miss her. She was like the best boat guest you could ever have. Especially for someone who's never really like been on a boat much before probably never slept on a boat before But uh, she was awesome. We're gonna miss Angie. We're leaving Nassau right now, and we're heading straight up to the Barry Islands So we have a light southwest wind I believe So hopefully we'll be able to fly the spinnaker or sail up there a little bit. We're leaving pretty late in the day So hopefully we get there before it gets too dark All right, we're sailing. We're doing like, we're cruising. All right, the wind is probably about 10 knots right off our beam pretty much. And we're doing like seven knots. Beautiful conditions, pretty flat out here. We got some lines in the water. I swear, we better catch a dang fish. Got some watermelon. Where are we going? We're gonna go to the berries where we left off last week. Okay guys, we've been fishing all day. We've had three lines out and we are almost to the berries and we just got a bite. Billy is fighting a fish. Woo! I'll be so mad if it's a bonita. No bonita. No barracuda. Uh, amberjack. Or is that what they're called? Oh no, that's crazy. We, we've caught one of them before. But not this, with the eyes? Yeah. Uh -huh. He's little though. Wow. Too little. Okay. Jack, are you filming? Some sort of jack? That's crazy. Um, they are good eating, but I think he's too small. Really? We 
have just arrived in the Berry Islands at the island called Bonds K. I wonder if James Bond is here. K or K? K. 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 I say K, you say K. Tomato, tomato. We're not in the Bahamas anymore, real time. Can you guys tell? No more palm trees. We miss the Bahamas. So one of the reasons that we go to the Bahamas and we love it over there is because of the pristine, beautiful coral reefs. We love snorkeling and spearfishing and diving on the reefs and just seeing all the life around them. Unfortunately, a lot of the reefs around the world are taking a beating, mostly from harmful human activities. And one of the contributing factors to that are harmful ingredients in most sunscreens. That's why we use Raw Elements All Natural Sunblock. They're actually an affiliate sponsor, so they're the affiliate sponsor of this episode. And they help support us uh, by giving us a small commission of all the sales that we generate for them. But this is stuff that I've been using for years and years that I really trust and I'll never use anything else. Just one of the reasons is because they choose ingredients that are safe for the oceans and safe for the coral reefs around the world. They don't have oxybenzone or any other harmful ingredients and even their active ingredient, zinc oxide, is a large enough size where they can't get ingested by the small organisms on the coral reefs. Because um, if that happens, they ingest these nano-sized particles and they could die. So Raw Elements does not use nano-sized zinc particles and they do not use any other harmful ingredients. You can actually read all the ingredients on the back of the sunscreen and understand and know what they are. Look at the label of any other sunscreen and see if you can understand what each ingredient is. Now, these are my two favorite products, uh, the stick and the tin. The stick is really good to apply to your nose, your lips, your, your whole face really. It stays on really well. I prefer the white so I can see the spots that I got and if it's starting to wear off. Um, because when we're in the sun all day long, I want to reapply as soon as it's starting to wear off. Uh, the tin is really good for the rest of your body. It's just a lotion. But instead of being in a plastic tube, it's in a metal tin. And you can just kind of scoop it out and put it on your shoulders, your chest, your back. So I prefer the white. Sierra likes these products as well, but she uses the tinted version. So Raw Elements is actually offering 10% off to you guys if you use code TULA at checkout. And we do get a small commission from sales that we generate, um, but we would never recommend a product that we do not trust. I've been using this for years before we even started these videos. So it's a product I do trust. I'll never use anything else. Probably make a really, really good Father's Day present. So check them out. The link will be right in the description and use code TULA at checkout for 10% off your total order. Thank you, Raw Elements, for sponsoring this episode, and thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.